Hey, what's going on? Dark Sky here, and today we are playing Survival Fountain of Youth. It's a kind of a neat game. It's a, um, you're kind of stuck on an island, you know, like a lot of other survival games, except uh, this one has a little bit of a uh, twist to it. It has uh, some uh, true events in it that, uh, that are kind of interesting. Gives you kind of a storyline up to that point, and uh, it kind of makes the uh, the story kind of interesting. Like you're uh, you're trying to find the rest of your crew and possibly get off of this island, just like pretty much anything else. But but you're following uh, like history, so it's kind of, kind of neat. I like it. I like it. But uh, yeah, let's get into this, huh? This story is inspired by real events. According to historic records, on March 4th, 1513, three ships sailed from Puerto Rico. They were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer Juan Ponce de Leon. The goal of the expedition was to search for the legendary Fountain of Youth. It all began in Puerto Rico, when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to the chief Gaibana in a war against other tribes. The Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people, a legend about Bimini, a hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini is the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will enjoy long years of health and youth. The chief also gave him an old map, covered with inscriptions in an ancient language. The map showed an uncharted group of islands. The location to search was clear, but the inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. The captain believed in the legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors of the new and old worlds volunteered to join his adventure. A total of three ships sailed off, the Santiago, the Santa Maria, and the San Cristobal. Ponce de Leon was sure that the ancient map would lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The voyage to the islands took an entire month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. They were the islands from the map. The expedition was just one day from its goal. And here we are waking up, but after a long slumber on the ship, we have to uh, go check out the crew uh, preparing for the council. Yep. Doesn't look like there's anything really that we can loot here, so I uh, thought that we don't have clothes on, but I can't see my feet. Punch the guy, wake him up, huh? Wake up, something's about to happen. Uh, in case I die at the hands of savages or from old age for any reason before the miraculous fountain of youth is found, I sign over the holy church my property, namely a pair of boots, two shirts, and a pair of pants, all under garments and salary owned to me if. If the ex expedition is successful, please consider Captain Ponce de Leon to be the executor of my will. Now oh, that's interesting. It's really dark, so it's hard to see if there's like anything else we need to loot there. Oh, look, now we have a weapon. So uh, we need to hold the block for blocking hit. Use the blocking hit to hold attacks. Charge for the hit and release it right before the enemy attacks. 
you can use a block right before the enemy attacks. Okay. All right, let's try that. So I just block my, uh, use my hand to block the attack. He just didn't want to go down. Must have broke out of his crate here. Don't see anything else up here. Oh wait, there's something here. Captain's map. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it says, go to the captain's cabin. Am I the captain? I don't know. Don't see anyone else out here ushering orders. So I'm guessing that's it. But it is dark around here, isn't it? All right, so here we go. We're in the captain's cabin. Boy, this is uh, it's pretty, pretty luxurious in here. Look at that. What big is that? Green bottle on a pedestal. It's got to be important, right? Here's uh, ancient uh, artifact notes. Found numerous traces of natives' culture on the island we explored. A special practical interest are strange ornate bottles with unusual liquid inside. We found two absolutely identical bottles on two different islands. Both filled with water. Out of curiosity, I drank the water from one of the bottles. It was surprisingly fresh and delicious. Within two days, all my old scars began to heal, and I started feeling years younger, stronger, and healthier. I cannot stop thinking about this water. Perhaps these bottles are somehow connected to the fountain of youth. What if this is the living water that Guabana told, told me about? Huh. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind taking a few years off. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got a book over here. Expedition Logbook. Oh, it's, yeah. A lot of good, good reading material there, I guess, if you get real bored or something. So let's uh, light the lamp. See, oh, guns. Look at those guns. Like a bland uh blutterbus in there and all that. All kinds of goodies in there. Weird how we don't see our shadow. Oh, can we pick up our coat? All right, let's put the map here and let's see what's going to happen next. Boom. I think we hit something. Oh, man, <laughs> shield just knocked us out. Knocked us silly. Take the grotto plan from the table. What table? Oh, right there. Okay. Okay, cool. What else? Uh, get items from the chest. Okay, let's do that. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, I'm thinking maybe a backpack. Iron flint. Bag of medicine. Bag of provisions. Bag of provisions might be a good thing. I'm um, thinking um, maybe the knife, yeah. Iron knife. And maybe an improved fishing, huh? 
scoop fish. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. What's move times one mean? Oh, I see. Okay, move that item. All right, so we got all of our items. Now we click done. So that's all we are able to pick up, I guess, and put onto our, our body. Can we pick up that sword? No. Can't even pick up the shield. Now it says jump through window. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And jump through the, the glass. The storm came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for it. Strong winds and giant waves blew up in a split second and crashed into the ship. The sails were torn apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped from their bunks and tried to save the ship. But it was too late. I came to my senses on the sandy shore. My memories were gone. I could not even remember my name. But I was alive and hoped that at least one of my fellow crew members had also escaped. Oh, here we are on the sandy beach. I don't know. Apparently we survived all that fun stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Find some green coconuts. Let's get these green coconuts out of the way. Put some shells on the ground. All right, craft open coconuts. All right, let's do that. All right, what did that do for us? Uh, eat open. Okay, so it's like food. Okay. Uh, so, yep, there we go. We'll eat that. What does that do for us? Oh, they give us lots of water. Okay, I'll keep the last one. Maybe that'll come in handy for something else. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for crafting now? We need to... Uh, Got these moles, guys. Okay, we need to harvest a small stick. Select all. All right, there we go. Now we got our stick. We need to harvest a stone. Where's oh, there's a bunch of stones right here. Man, we are just knocking out blueprints left and right here. It's crazy. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're like on a little tiny, um, little tiny island. I mean, it's tiny, super tiny. Create uh, a stone axe. All right, let's see here. So we need to go in our crafting area, go to tools, stone axe, craft that. Now we go into an inventory, huh? Oh, we already got it. Okay. Harvest a long stick. So I imagine we need our axe for that. Okay, craft a wooden spear. Boy, this is easy so far, huh? Piece of cake. Wooden spear, done. Now, it seems like, um, what is that? Oh, mapping charcoal, yeah. Okay, so it seems like that in our, um, our inventory, we can only do, like, the first two. We can't uh, put anything in the other ones. I don't know if that's just because it's, um, maybe it's locked for the, uh, the demo or something. I don't know. Special resources looks like they're also locked, so I don't know. So imagine it wants me to do something with this spear. Throw the spear and hit the crab while crouching. All right, so 
we are going to right click to get ready uh hit the uh, control button and hopefully not scare them away oh i missed they're laughing at me all right let's try it again where's another crab come here crabby crabby patty what's this oh scrap oh i didn't even see that crab there's a lot of crabs out here oh they don't go far though when they run they don't go too far all right so get down like this and like that yeah i got that one buddy knocked it out of the park take that crab there there's a chance that maybe i can get one more huh all right dang it not very good huh dang i am not good when it comes to sneaking up on something Oh, got that one. That was a dead on hit there, too. All right, now we need to build a campfire. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Where's where do you think is a good spot? I'm thinking like maybe, well, not maybe not over there with those other crabs. I don't want to scare them away. I'm thinking maybe like right in here, it might be a good spot. Pick up all that fun stuff. And then uh, let's see here. We're going to hit what tab? Go to crafting and what? Probably buildings. Oh, there we go. Campfire. Oh, we could do the campfire with stones. That would probably enable you to make baked food protected from the wind. Enables you to cook fried meats and fish. Consumption is 70 units per hour. This one's 60 units per hour. Well, that one sounds like a better deal. It says campfire, but it doesn't say what kind of campfire. So I'm thinking that I can use this one. It says campfire, but with stones. So. Uh, craft a spindle fire starter. Okay, let's do that. And let's see, probably what? What would they call it? Get rid of all these little linking things. Where is a spindle? Ah, there it is right there. Okay, craft that. Okay, uh, cook food on fire. I can do that. All right, we got that. Now uh, craft that. I'm going to craft that. I got two crabs. Off the crabby. And I guess what we need to eat this now go now I need to make some charcoal uh, so here's mapping charcoal uh, we don't have enough um, sticks for that we need one stick for that uh, let's change that out for that and let's see if we can't find some sticks here, here how about this here there we go dismantle that we get five sticks out of that deal and kind of clean up the beach at the same time i guess i could use that wood right behind me i didn't even notice it there all right so now i should be able to craft that well i got everything on my little island is this is great all right so we we'll pick that up there. Uh, 
Uh, we'll select all that and then harvest that. Insufficient tool durability. Huh. Oh, look at that. There's a raft right there. It's like someone made it for us or so. Okay, so how do I fix my axe? C uh, R. There. There we go. It doesn't really repair, repair it all the way, does it? It only does it like part way. Uh, so what I need to do is come over here to this tree, and I need to do, get the rest of that Lana stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. So if I don't do the full bit like that and harvest that, then I can do it. Okay, so you can click on it, and each piece goes up by five, but in that process, it ends up pretty much destroying the hammer or the axe. But we at least we get that Liana. But now we need to craft the uh, the Liana rope. So where is that Liana rope at? There it is. And craft and two of those, three, four, five, four. I guess I'll do four. Okay, so what are we doing now? We need to find a cartographer tree, which that was easy. We just ran into that a minute ago, right here. And climb the cartographer tree. Well, okay, that's not too hard. Okay, there we go. We climbed it. Oh, that's a cartographer tree. I was just on the, like, the root. I was... Like, what? okay, what, did the tree fall over? <laughs> so this is the cartographer tree. Okay, all right, so we got to climb this. Oh, you just run into the uh, the ladder and then start looking up, and that's how you climb. Oh, wow, what a trip, huh? We are going way up here so far. Mapping to find resources. Use mapping to find resources you needed for crafting. Mapping will also help you find unique locations, native chronicles, and special objects like potions, notes, etc. You can map anywhere you want, but mapping from higher grounds would cover more territories. Use a cartographer trees, mountains, hills, and build cartographer towers. Oh, okay. I am definitely way, 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 way up here. Um, great place for mapping. Okay. Yeah, I'd say. Ooh, this is scary. What is that? Oh, that's where my house is. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that, huh? That is quite the view. Wow. All right, well, let's map this out, huh? So, E to map. Click on mapping. Start mapping. Wow, interesting item. Living water. An interesting sight. The raft, permanent bed. Okay, hey, that's pretty neat. Let's see, zoom in and out. Oh, okay, zoom in and out. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, it even tells me what's in the water. Wow, that's pretty neat. Coconut palm, long sticks. And over here, you can see a little bit interesting items. Oh, that's pretty neat. Looks like we got a new uh, bow spindle thing for uh, making fires. Uh, what else we got here? 
It says something here. What is it? I don't see anything. There. Hmm. Some of this is not available in the demo, but yet we unlocked it. So I guess there's that. And then we have uh, an improved raft, I guess. Uh, but I, I, I'm guessing that we, that's what we have right now. And this is the new one. And then this is the one we can't unlock, but it's a uh, canoe. Wow, look at all the stuff that we have now. The beginning of expedition, shipwreck. Unknown Chronicles. Oh, that's neat. Books read. Hints, weather effects, diseases. And everything we've done so far. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? We got mapping. Oh, okay. Reduce mapping duration by negative 5%. Okay. And gathering is reduced gathering and mining duration by 5%. Nice. Craft a primitive ship repair kit. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, let's see, I imagine it has to be under ships, right? There's a primitive ship repair kit right there. It says we need two narrow leaps. So we gotta figure out how to get off this uh, this beast without falling off. Ooh, it's shaky. It's scary. Ooh, is it gonna just let us? Oh goodness. Okay. Hmm. Whoops. Was looking around and started going up instead of going down. You think that thing doesn't get in the way right there, huh? All right, we made it. Boy, that thing was huge. It was really up there. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking what we need to do is we need to get some of these palm trees. I'm thinking maybe what, this? Yeah, that'll do it. Select all harvest. That should do it. That'll do it. Now we need to go uh, crafting. We need to go to boats. Primitive. Craft that. All right. We got to repair our little sea vessel here. Take the helm. Interaction. Repair. All right. Oh, look at that. It's even better looking now. I wonder what kind. I guess it's just called a raft, huh? <laughs> now land on the Island of Hope. All right. Let's see if we, I think we should go around here and collect a few more items before we head out. I guess we could always come back to this island if we need need to grab some things. A lot of crab here, though. So much crab. Crazy. All right. Let's take the helm. Can you uh, zoom in and out or at all? Or no? I guess this is it. Ooh, look at this. This is exciting. It's like a motorboat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go that way. Turn around that. Now oh, this thing just flies. Oh, your durability of the raft goes down as you uh, move forward or just move in general, I guess. I'm thinking I want to go like right there and land on that nice soft beach with no rocks, hopefully. We got the salt water in our in our face and wind in our hair. Like being on the ship all over again. Step out of this helm. All right. 
Uh, that's what I want to do. Find the survivors. Let's see, I think what I need. What is that? That's a long stick. That's not what I want. I want this. All right, there we go. Just in case there's any little monsters in here. Ooh, there's uh, scorpions in here. It was all like right on it, and I pulled pulled back. a little bit get these scorpions out of our cave oh what's this oh i was not destined to complete a map of the local seas but it may come in handy to find a place where the san diego sank not far from the island perhaps there is still something useful there okay so, like, I mean, we're, like, right there, and the ship's right there. I have to try to figure out where that is, I suppose. Oh, and he's saying that he lost his, uh, marked approximate location of two water sources on the map. The coastal grotto and the place where he lost his spyglass. The caption says that the spyglass remained in place where fireflies are visible at night. Huh. He has something circled here. He's got something here. So I'm guessing that's like the water. Because he's talking about two water sources. And it looks that looks like a water drop. And that's like a water drop. But I'm guessing this is where he dropped his, uh, his spyglass. So. Our captain, Juan Ponce de Leon, also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it his temporary shelter. Then he started to act quickly and decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. During another trip, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left this note, then hurriedly packed up and sailed toward the sound of the cannon fire. He was in a rush to help his crew. Running quickly, he forgot his spyglass on the other side of the island. If I find it, I will be able to look around the island. Okay, to anyone who reads this, I'm Juan Ponce de Leon, head of the expedition studying these islands. I barely survived a shipwreck and arrived here on a lifeboat. I'm leaving this note in case someone on my crew has also survived. I spent a few days investigating the island. I'm leaving a rough map and my notes about the island here in this grotto. The island is uninhabited. It is full of wild birds and animals. Uh, I found the ruins and other traces of ancient civilization. This morning I was exploring the island. On the east and heard distance can of fire on my signal from one of our ships. It sounds like it's close to the island. My rescue boat still intact so i will go there immediately to look for survivors ps just before sailing i noticed that i forgot my spy glass at the place where i heard the cannon fire uh you can look for it it is in a conspicuous conspicuous place with house foundation if you find it i recommend you take a good look around in a clear weather before you go after me the ancient observatory at the top of the mountain would be a perfect place to do this. It is easy to find. The white symbol above it is visible 
from almost anywhere. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. And I got some living water, so that's pretty awesome. Leaving a bottle of living water so that the person that finds it can restore their health if they are shipwrecked. Good luck. All right. Cool. Nice. I got some nice water. Maybe I should... Uh, Oh, special resources, and then it unlocked one of the areas there. That's neat. So I can use that. Yeah, it gave me full water, full energy, full health. Except for full food, you know, but pretty much it gave me pretty full of everything there. So that's pretty nice. Gave me a bunch of sticks to work with. Nice. It's like uh, lots of food around here. We got that, 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 that. That there. That's good. We just got two new blueprints from that. So one is this uh, ripened coconut here. If I do the ripened coconut and I use it with this, then I can make a coconut flask. So that would be nice. So, pretty cool game. There's a lot to do, a lot of history in this. Um, it's kind of neat because, you know, I've, I've heard about these uh, ships in uh, history classes when I used to be in school. So, I've heard of these things before and how they uh, they carried great treasures but sank off the coast, you know, and in uh, mysterious locations, you know, and whatnot. I don't know if it's the same ships or not, but uh, it sounds like it is. And, uh, you know, and they mentioned that it's off of uh, real life events. So, so that's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, the ink is blurred in a few words, very hot, always thirsty, first mate camp here. Okay. So there's one of the camps right there. Nice. Probably, uh, not that one, but I don't know, maybe some island over there somewhere. But uh, anyways, uh, smash that subscribe button if you have been, you know, haven't done so already. And uh, smash that like as well. Also comment down in the comment section uh, about the game, what you thought of it and, uh, and how much you enjoyed it. As well as uh, you find more information about the game in the description down below as where to uh, purchase it. And uh, also uh, just information in general about it. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. You take care now and bye-bye.